This is the first time, I think, ever in the 42 years that I've been alive that I have ever been so excited to get pissed off because I have just learned how to turn my triggers into my manifesting power, and I'm gonna show you how. I'm Sarah Stone Love. If you're new here, my channel is all about the science and psychology of manifesting, and I hope you're going to join me because we are on a journey, and we are finding not just a bunch of woo-woo, just think about it and attract it type of stuff. No, we're finding the hard facts, the science, and and the best methods to get you where you wanna be in your life. So I wanna share some tips from this book that I'm reading right here. It's The Eight Secrets to Powerful Manifesting by Mandy Morris. Highly suggest you get this. It is not a woo-woo manifesting book. This woman is a psychologist. She knows what she's talking about and she will show you the steps to get where you wanna go. So I wanna share this story with you so you can better understand how your triggers can become your manifesting power. So a couple of weeks ago, my husband and I were sitting around talking. I've been talking to him all about all this energy and all these things I'm learning and he's trying to get on board with me, but it's all new to him just like it is to me and he hasn't done all the research I've been doing right so he is starting to come on board but it's a slow it's his own journey it's his own path and I'm kind of trying to force it on him a little bit too much sometimes and I was showing him some muscle testing and he made the comment he was like I just wish I could believe in your muscle testing he honestly did not mean anything by it he just meant he wished he could believe it because he wants to believe it he wants to and I didn't think anything of it either and I went to bed oh my god though when I woke up the next morning I was like steaming with anger I was like why am I so angry I am so pissed. And then I went to try to muscle test something and I had lost my muscle testing power. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know anything about muscle testing, it's a way to have direct communication with your subconscious mind so you can discover your limiting beliefs or discover things that will help you with your health and nutrition. And basically anything, any kind of decision that you want to make in your life, you can consult your subconscious mind to find what is most beneficial for you. And how it works is because your subconscious controls all of your biology, your heart beating, your breathing, it controls your muscles. So anytime it's a yes or a true statement, your muscles strengthen. Anytime it's a false or no statement that you say, your muscles weaken. If you want a crash course on different methods for muscle testing, check the description below. I'll include it down there. So back to the story. I woke up the next morning. I was super pissed and I tried to muscle test and I couldn't. And I realized that my husband's statement, I had let it in. So we are the creators of our own reality. Nobody can take away your power. Nobody can take anything away from you. But I let it in. I let the belief in to my subconscious real that I I couldn't muscle test, that it wasn't really working, that I didn't believe in it. And just like that, I lost my freaking power and I was furious with Dayton, <sighs> my poor husband. But luckily I happened to be reading Mandy's book and I was like, hold on a minute. I'm really triggered right now. Let me just try her little detangling energy process and see if it works. And lo and behold, it did. So I'm just gonna go through the process with you really quick and I will put up with text what all of the things are that you ask yourself. So next time you catch yourself super sad, super angry, triggered, whenever you are emotionally triggered, stop and ask yourself these questions. How do I feel right now? In my case, I was feeling pissed off and angry and defensive. Why am I feeling this way? Well, because my husband made this comment to me that he didn't believe in my muscle testing. Am I reliving the past? Hold on a minute. Am I reliving the past? Oh, wait a minute. I'm reliving the past. The way you can discover that is by asking yourself why. Keep asking why. I'm angry right now. Why? Because my husband said he didn't believe in me. Why does that make me angry? Because I don't believe in myself now. Why don't I believe in myself? Oh man, I don't believe in myself. Oh, and then I realized that's a huge trigger for me. It goes all the way back to my childhood. I was not meaning to cry right now, but it's making me tear up. But I don't believe in myself and I'm not good enough. I can't do this. I can't be the expert. Who do I think I am? All these questions start flooding in the second I start trying to think about it. And I realize this has nothing to do with my husband. It has nothing to do with that's happening right now and everything to do with my past and my childhood. And if it's not reliving the past, you ask yourself, am I worried about the future? Because usually it has nothing to do with the present moment. When you're triggered, it's either something from the past, from your childhood, or something you're worried about in the future. What do I think is going to happen? I'm not gonna be able to muscle test anymore because I don't believe in it. That's what I thought was gonna happen. That's what I suddenly believed and then that's what happened. And then ask yourself, what persona am I in? When I get triggered, what persona am I in? This was a huge wake up call for me in this book because I never realized our subconscious creates personas. Whenever we don't feel safe, it creates personas to protect us. For instance, my son, when he starts saying, I hate you, I don't love you, you're the worst mom in the world. I used to get really defensive and angry back at him, but now I realize that's a persona that he creates when he doesn't feel safe. And guess what? 
I'm able to go to him to give him a calm hug and tell him I love him. You're safe. Mommy's here. And I just ignore the mean things he said because I realize that's not even him speaking. Man, that's been profound for me and changed my relationship with my son. So what are my personas? I've been trying to figure out my personas. I had been reading this and going, but what are mine? I don't know. What, what, what? And when you ask yourself questions, your subconscious brings it to surface. So I believe this was one way of me getting pissed at my husband for my subconscious to be like, look, here's your persona right here. Because the instant I got triggered, my gut reaction right back at him was to push him away and to build a wall and to say, I'm no longer going to share my studies with you. I'm locking you out. That's my persona. That's what I do when I don't feel safe. That's what I did as a child when my parents were fighting constantly. My dad was drinking. I went and hid in the closet and I hid and I put up a wall to protect myself. And that's what I was still doing now. Boom. But you know what is so exciting about all of this? The second that you become aware and you realize what is happening, that is the second you start transmuting that energy, you take the control back and you change it all. Because think about this for a minute. Back in the day when there was churches ruling the world, you couldn't dare question their authority. Why? Why couldn't you question it? Because the second you question it, you begin to lose faith. You begin to not believe in it. And the second you start identifying your personas, becoming aware and questioning why you're getting triggered, that limits limiting belief begins to disappear. The second you question it, you begin transmuting the energy. The second you question Santa Claus, you no longer believed in it. That is a magical way to get rid of your limiting beliefs. So the second I went through Mandy's process of detangling this energy, I was instantly able to realize what was happening. My anger dissipated. And instead I used it as an opportunity to bring my husband closer to me. And not only that, my muscle testing came back immediately and I was able to do it right away. This process works. It is amazing to Look at your triggers as not a setback, but as you're set up. An opportunity to, for you to become aware of yourself and to grow. Mind blown. It's literally changing everything for me. I'm Sarah Stone Love, and I hope that you can use your triggers to turn them into manifesting power to fuel your manifestations, just like I'm doing. If you enjoyed the video, you liked it, you learned something from it, please subscribe. Give me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to hear more about. And join me every Tuesday and Thursday where we'll be studying the science and psychology of manifesting.